Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I am going to do one main thing in this video. I was working on my tank today and I know I've told everybody that I will be moving soon and we're down to two weeks until we get the keys and then the week after is the big move on the 26th of December. So I'm working on my plan to move this. Luckily, it's not that big of a tank. Um, but I do have a friend coming to help me, need to buy some buckets, some new shims, so on and so forth. I'm definitely going to be making videos um, regarding all of that. This video, I'm going to talk about how I dose my two-part, why I dose two-part, um, and how I have um, made sure to, how I have um, really dialed it in so I get the levels constant that I want. Uh, so the first part I'm going to show you what I do around the tank and the second part I'm going to show you how I've used my Neptune Apex controller to make sure everything is where I want it. Alright, so first up, um, my calcium and alkalinity levels have, I mean I, I, I have no corals in here yet, nothing. Um, but my calcium and alkalinity were just, just, I was just going through them so quick and I'm not exactly sure why. Well. I know why now, and I doubt you can see it. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna be able to see that. But these rocks were completely white. But some of the snails I introduced had some coralline algae on them, and they are slowly being entirely populated by purple coralline algae, which is obviously fantastic. But that is taking up my calcium and alkalinity, so I'm having to dose them quite a bit. And for just a recap, I am using BRS 1.1 milliliter pumps, and I have my calcium right here, and my alkalinity right down below it. Uh, mine actually pumped two milliliters per minute, so um, I just calibrated that so I knew that's what was happening. And then I am using these BRS PVC one gallon jugs. They call them Mr. Chili's mixing jugs. Um, aquarium safe, and I've gone ahead and jerry-rigged this little setup. Now, in my new apartment, I am so excited because if I back up here, you'll just see how ugly this is. This apartment is, is really awful and it's tiny for my family and I just have, I mean, just have crap everywhere and we're not hoarder kind of people. And in the new apartment, um, this is, the tank's gonna go in a really nice spot and everything's gonna be hidden behind it. Right behind it is a huge cabinet. Um, and the cabinet has tons of storage space so I can hide everything in the cabinets including my two part, my auto top off bucket so that all you will see is the tank and the stand and it's gonna be gorgeous and I will be getting an anemone soon which I'm really excited about I really haven't decided on which one yet so more to come anyway so these Mr. Chili's uh, jugs what I have is I have gone ahead and mixed um, calcium in one, alkaline in another. I'm not going to talk about how I did that. I just want to show you what I did. Um, but taking my cue from BRS, I went ahead and jerry-rigged these tops. Uh, really handy, really easy. You can just buy some extra uh, tops here. And then, you know, just some, some tubing. And then you just buy these PV, um, these hard acrylic. You can see how hard they are there, right? And you just cut them, right? You cut them to rest right above the bottom so that um, you can use up the entire tank. You just drill a hole in the top here and you insert this bulkhead here, I believe it's called a Murloc bulkhead, and you just shove in on the bottom, you shove the pipe up to the top, and up here you just shove the tubing in there, you make sure it's nice and secure, and there you go. Really easy, um, these last me quite a while. And in the new place it's gonna be awesome um, because they'll be hidden and nobody will see them. Uh, right now, these will last me a month, but as soon as I start putting some corals in, it won't last that long. I also have magnesium, one for magnesium, but my magnesium levels, I don't use any magnesium right now. I haven't had a dose of that in two months, so um, yeah, so that's going completely fine. All right, I'm going to come back to this video in a second, and I will show you how I have adjusted my Neptune Apex to make sure my dosing levels stay where I want them. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm going to start you by showing how I initially dosed. And if you go to the Bulk Resupply website, you can just go ahead and click right up here on the calculator. Sorry, I don't have any sort of skills for uh, videotaping this, so I'm literally just holding it up. 
All right, go to the calculator, you can scroll down and you can see what you want for your calcium, alkalinity, so on and so forth. So I'll just show you an example. Click on the calcium. You obviously have to test everything first. I use the Red Sea um, test kits about once a week. Um, and so I knew exactly what they were. So you're gonna enter your total water volume. The total volume is 43 gallons, but I just say 40 because I do have live rock in there. I should probably say a little bit less, but 40 seems to work out pretty well. So then you put in your desired level here. Let's say I want to keep something around 425. And current calcium level, let's say I'm at somewhere, I don't know, 380 maybe. Then you choose, how are you dosing it? I'm using two part, but you might just be mixing uh, calcium chloride crystals, but we'll do two part. And you go to calculate. And there you go. It shows you how much you need. So this means that I need 6.2 fluid ounces, right? Um, you can see it right there. So um, that would be, you know, um, my thing gives, um, anyway, okay. So I need that much. So I would go ahead and I would get the levels to where I want them. Then I would test every single day, um, just for about three days to see how much it's dropping per day. All right. And once I know how much it's dropping per day, I can just readjust and I can say my current level is here. The desired level is here, and it will tell me how much I need to dose every single day, All right? Pretty simple, um, and it's obviously going to vary per person, and you're going to have to change it frequently depending on how much uh, coral growth you have and other needs in your system, what sort of water changes. I'm using Red Sea Salt right now, but not the Coral Pro, so every time I water change, I'm actually lowering my calcium, lowering my alkalinity, but I will be getting new salt soon. All right. Now up to my Apex Fusion, for those of you that don't have one, um, save up for one. They are well worth it. They're amazing. Um, they, yeah, I can't say enough. They cost about 500 bucks. Um, you can also get the Junior, which is totally fine as well. It just doesn't come with the pH, but you can upgrade to that in the future. All right, so um, here we are on the dashboard of the Apex Fusion. All right, and if you go ahead and click, uh, let's see, let's say we want to look at my dosing. So I'm going to go ahead and click up here. And this is I record all of my um, parameters. So alkalinity, ammonia, so on and so forth. So this will just kind of show you what mine's been doing when I test every single week. You know, it goes up to 10 and this is seven and a half. So I want to keep my alkalinity somewhere around 10. Um, that's somewhat arbitrary. Seems to be a good middle of the road from what people say. So I'm constantly adjusting my dosing so that it stays around 10, obviously plus or minus. When I'm dosing, the alkalinity is gonna go up, and when I'm not, it's gonna go down. All right, you can also scroll down a little bit and you can see my calcium, the same sort of thing. I'm basically shooting to keep it around 425, which would be in between these two lines here. So you can see for the most part, I'm pretty good, although when I tested it today, it was quite low, um, down below 400, so I had to change my dosing. So how do I do that? Well. If you go back to the dashboard here, all right, I'm gonna click on this button here, and this button is the outputs, right? Basically, I control my BRS on a timer, and the timer I use is connected to my Neptune Apex. You can use a manual timer as well, that's totally fine, you just have to manually program it for how long you want it to turn on, right? So I'm gonna go down, we're gonna look at alkalinity first. So, this looks really complicated, but if you look it up online, it's really pretty simple. So I'm basically programming an outlet. All I'm doing is I'm using one of my plugins on my um, EB-8, which basically is the surge, it looks like a surge protector, and uh, I'm just telling it when to give power and when to take power away. That's it. So I have my pH set up to basically go off in small intervals all throughout the night. And the reason I do that is because I'm using soda ash, and soda ash increases the pH, and the pH, as we all know, typically goes down at night, you know, has to do with respiration of the tank, um, so on and so forth. So I like to counteract that by dosing it throughout the night. Um, you can see here, I run it pretty much two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, and then I go up to three minutes at a time. Um, so overall, I can't remember how many minutes I'm dosing for, but it looks like th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times three, eight, 24, uh, 26, 28, 30 minutes, basically. All right. Uh, and then I just adjust it accordingly. So if I test it one week, you know, I test it in the morning, uh, on Saturdays, usually when I'm off of work 
and if the numbers are a bit low, I add a little bit of time, so on and so forth. And I just basically toy with it every single week. Um, but it's really minor adjustments, so it doesn't take a lot of work. And the reason I space it out is because it does have, Soda Ash does have a, a significant pH raising uh, temporarily. So I don't want to flood everything and stress corals or the fish out by, by increasing the pH too rapidly. Um, so yeah, so that will show you that programming. We'll go back up here and we will look at the calcium and how I do my calcium. I do the calcium on an opposite schedule and I'm sure everybody knows why we do that. Um, I do that so that there's very little chance of precipitation, you know, when you get those white flakes when, when, when your calcium solidifies. So I do this basically during the daytime. And I do the same thing, but um, the uh, calcium chloride uh, mixture two-part doesn't really have any effect on the pH. Um, it obviously changes your salinity slightly, making adding a little bit more salt to your tank. Um, so I feel more comfortable running these in five-minute increments. At the end of the day, you know, you're really just looking for what's right for your tank. You want a consistent environment for your livestock, for your corals, your anemones, your fish, so on and so forth, and a place where they're going to thrive, and this is going to be different for everybody. Um, you can totally manually dose two-part. I did that for, for quite a while, and it works, um, but there are some downsides. You know, you have to remember to do it, and then, you know, you're going to be adding larger quantities at a time. You can even drip it in there, which, which I definitely did that for a while. But if you can go ahead and get these Mr. Chili's uh, jugs, they're a few bucks a piece, buy some extra caps for a few cents, buy the tubing, the Murloc bulkheads, um, you know, and then your two-part solution, mix them up yourself. I mean, that alone, I mean, that's like 20 bucks. You know, it's, it's really not going to set you back very much. Um, and then from there, if you want to get fancy, you can go ahead and just buy, buy yourself a timer. Um, uh, and then get yourself some dosing pumps. Now the dosing pumps are definitely more expensive. Um, so if you can't do that, totally fine. Just get your, your Mr. Chili's um, jugs here and then just, you know, pour a little bit out every single day. But I highly recommend go ahead and pick up those BRS dosing pumps. There's fancier models out there, expensive models, but these work great. And BRS has fantastic customer service. So anyway, I hope everybody's well. Um, I can't wait to show you videos of the move and the new setup. And if you have any questions, uh, please hit me up down below and uh, keep on reefing everybody. Bye.